right everyone another unboxing this is a brand that is just an Amazon brand based out of China uh, I haven't seen it on Amazon before and they had a lot of variety in, in clothing and whatnot so I figured I'd try it out that was a very tightly packaged set of products here if I didn't cut into anything uh, Oroko Juco I don't know that's the name. Oh, look at that. So I thought I was buying this brand, but I got this one too, I guess. And I suspect this is all basically the same company shipping out of China. Because um, I have this brand before. And anyways, there's a huge amount of cuts. As well as the cut I just made in the, <laughs> in the package here. Cuts uh, different styles. So here, here it is. Very neat. Sunflower. It's pretty du durable, pretty well made there, stretchy. No apparent slash marks <laughs> from me. So it's it's a, almost a G-string, it's a traditional T-back. Um, I do like this brand. Cool blue and yellow, medium, medium in this one. I did go undersized a little bit with the, the G-string style. Okay, should be fun. Has a contoured pouch. Will be a little bit bulge-like. Okay, that's that one. I specifically bought these to try out. They're not ultra expensive, and if it's good, if they're good, then I'll buy more. And this is specifically swimwear, which you don't see a lot. That looks really big. I always say that when I put it on, and it fits. <laughs> I don't know what that means. So, it's got flowers, it's black, pink, yellow, green, a lot of bulge. It does feel a little bit lined up front. Yeah, there's a there's a lining in there. Drawstring. Kind of booty short back. Look at that. Who wants to see that on, that on? It's not bad. It's stretchy. Seems well made. I don't see any holes or runaway threads somewhat thin there but it is lined up front awesome I like it this one I think this is also swimwear. These, these packages that ship across the world they always contain a little bit of weird chemical smell I think it's probably to keep bugs out and whatnot but yeah yellow red all kinds of stuff going on. Booty short. So it's, I think it's the same cut. Black laying instead of white. Drawstring. Oroko Juco. Orokojuco.com. Underwearoffer.com. I got these in large. Okay. And then another one. Got this wild. Disco ball cut. Purple, pink, black, gray. JaxFSTK.com. I bought these with my own money. No one sponsored anything. So it's this one is it's also um, kind of a little bit bigger tea back cut, a cheek, cheeky cut, but it, this one's a bit smaller in cut. So four items, a lot of different. Well, colors. I've bought them for the vibrant colors. So that's the quick take. Let's go try these on and see if they're worth the hassle and, and time <laughs> and money. All right, first one I'm trying out here. This is the official swimsuit and it has lining up front, has the draw cord. This one was very comfortable wearing it uh, and it has a very unique cut. Fairly big, if you can call it that on the backside. It's, it's tall. So it goes up the back a bit further. It is comfortable. It's very vibrant. It has a unique style. You're probably going to get noticed in it. The um, yeah, I liked it. I, I think the front looks like any kind of normal Speedo. Definitely. You can get this in all different colors. Another view of it. It's a, it is a different style of cut for men. So moving on to this next one. This is a, definitely kind of a mini cheeky. It's the 
It's bigger than most swim thongs in the back, but um, not as big or wide as the one you just saw. Very vibrant color, purples, pinks. This one is not swimwear, but it is the same material without the lining on the draw cord. Moving on again, this is the smallest of the batch that I got. It has a big sunflower on it, obviously. Very vibrant. A lot of, I really like this one. It's pretty small pouch, bulge oriented. Uh, it's fun to wear, kind of high on the sides there, complete thong, T-back in the back, close to G-string. The strap in the middle is very comfortable. Uh, turns out bees are attracted to the flowers, <laughs> so I need to watch out for that. And I would, I would do recommend this one. I recommend all of them. I'd probably order more of this one, but uh, that one was a medium. This is, again, another swimsuit same cut as the black one that you saw pretty tall front and pouch a line pouch it's not lined in the front anywhere else other than the pouch it does have a drawstring again it uh, this is a large i probably could have gotten away with the medium on these but uh, these are these are comfortable pretty loud print there you can get all kinds of different colors Probably, if you really sort through the website, you can probably get 15 to 20 different color styles. Pretty big back again, tall up top, close to your, high up on your back, and then certainly got the thong back. Smallest of the batch again, what do you think about that? Disco, front, disco, flipping around. This one's pretty, pretty good. All right in the pool there. So did you have a favorite? Did you like the prints? Did you like my choices I got? Should I have gotten a different size? Let me know what you think. If you get into hot water, sometimes these synthetic materials can stretch. It hasn't been too long uh, since I've been in, and so far they seem to be okay. There might have been a little bit of fading of the color of, of the garments, the clothes. Um, but I think it's pretty typical. Most clothes are going to fade or they're going to ha they have that vibrancy to them. But kind of 24 hours later, they don't seem to have stretched out from the heat in the hot tub. That's always a risk. I've had other garments do that. Um, some of the Joe Snyder ones I've, I know that I've worn multiple times can stretch out. That's why they also tell you not to uh, leave them out in the sun at times or, or put them in the high heat dryer. So it's something to be aware of, definitely. All in all, I mean, these were, it was about 50, it was less than $60 for the four of them. So it's, they're not ultra cheap, but um, for what they are, they're, they were fun. I enjoyed the new brand. I like the, the colors and the patterns. I tend to often buy the standard black, blue, red colors. I do avoid white, but uh, you know I tend to stick to the solid patterns. Here I am uh, in action here. So this one looks pretty good on. It, it held in place, which is always a risk. Fun pattern. I don't know. Would you uh, would you wear these? So I think you should try them out. I do recommend them. Um, check out my links with, uh, I'll, I'll link to the Amazon store for this brand. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you want to see more, then check out my OnlyFans because I have the behind the scenes photo shoot that I'll be posting up in a few days. And I have many more pictures of me wearing this gear. Um, a lot of uh, talk about the gear. Uh, on, on OnlyFans. It's my main follow-up site after after YouTube and it's very gear oriented. Uh, much more content of me wearing the gear. So do check that out. It's always appreciated. The majority of my folks from OnlyFans are from YouTube. And of course uh, check out my other social sites, Twitter, Instagram. Thanks for watching and if you like this video please subscribe to the channel, leave me a like, leave a comment, hit the notifications on your on my channel so you'll be first to find out when I have a new video and it's very much appreciated.